Hi, and welcome to the tutorial on the Layer Manager. This tutorial will be going over your Layer Manager, how to add, delete, and edit different layers onto JMARS, what you see, and how to use it. We're going to go over to our Layer Manager under Main. This entire blue area is your Layer Manager. You'll notice that every time you open a new JMARS that you'll automatically have two different layers added by default. You'll have your Lat Long Grid and your Surface so each one of these layers, including any layer you add, will have a couple different features. The box to the left indicates whether or not the layer is completely loaded. If it's green, that means it's ready to go and completely loaded. The M indicates the main view, while the P indicates the panner view. So when they're both blue, that means they're both on. If you want to turn one off, you can do that. We'll click this MOLA map. If I want it off my main view, I can just click the M, and you'll notice the M turns white, and then it disappears off the screen. So I can put it back on, and then if I want it off my panner view, I can also do that. The bar to the right of your panner view is your, your opacity bar. This is nice to use when you have a lot of different layers and you're trying to line things up or you're trying to see under one another. You can use this and it basically changes your opacity. So you'll see as I drag it to the left, it gets lighter and lighter. And then if you go fully to the left, it disappears. So we'll put it back. And now to add a layer, you're going to go to Add New Layers. And you'll see that there's a couple different options depending on what you want to do. But we are just going to go to imagery. And it loads the layer for us. You'll notice that the active layer is outlined by a blue box. Whatever's on top, you can't see anything below it unless you rearrange your layers. So for instance, you'll notice right now our lat long grid is not showing. If you go over to your layer manager and you click your lat long grid and you drag it to the top, it's now act an active layer on top, so now you can see it. You can also double click any layer. Sometimes it'll have a description on the layer giving you more information on it. And then these tabs at the bottom can be pretty useful also. Your input tab basically allows you to move your map around and your data around. So if you go under to nudge map, these arrows can move your map in whichever direction you like. And it can move it by different increments as long as you change your step increment. We'll be going over this plus button and some more options in another tutorial. But if you move over to chart, if you plot a profile, it'll show up in your chart area. This will actually be in another tutorial also, so we'll go over different ways to use it. If you think you're going to use something a lot, for instance, if I know I'm going to use this chart a lot, then I can press dock me and it'll put it automatically put it in my layer manager. But if I decide I don't need it anymore, I can actually just delete it and it goes back to normal. If you want to rename a layer, you can do that also. Just right click and press rename. Press OK. And you'll notice it's renamed to letter A. We're going to go back up to add a new layer. And this time we're going to go back to home and go to nomenclature. You'll see that this nomenclature puts on main land features. So we're going to double click and go into here. You'll notice that your nomenclature has a default of showing up with white with a red bullet mark. You can change that if you'd like to by going to adjustments. And if you click the red bar, it'll let you pick whichever color you would like. And it changes that bullet mark to a different color. Double click, go back in. And then if I don't want them showing up on my main view or my panner view, I can change that as well. Also, if I just want to go to one land feature and I know the name of it, I can do that. Just click on it and press go to. And it brings me to that land feature. Click out of here. One more thing I want to show you 
which is useful to know, is if you move your mouse around and look in your bottom left hand corner, you'll notice that your longitude and latitude values change. As your mouse moves, these values change. So if you just put your mouse over the feature and you just want to get a quick idea of what the latitude longitude is, you can look in your bottom left hand corner. So this is useful to know and to use. Well, that's it for this tutorial on the Layer Manager. Thanks for joining me.